This is the Civilization 4 NLL. Hello and welcome to the Noble Leaders League. I am Shot Like. This is the opening a game of round six of the league. We are in the third division. This is the game between Darius the first and Napoleon. Darius number 15 with his two points. Napoleon number nine with five. Darius one win and four losses. Napoleon 2-1-2 two, two in form. Both have played Stalin. That is in fact Darius the first only victory. Around 2 turn 350 conquest win while Napoleon lost to Stalin. Now in round 5 a turn 261 conquest. Let's uh, take a look at the starting positions. We see Darius here. Let's get the resource bubbles on for a moment. He is next to a river with some jungles and up north there are some uh, forests. There is a pig, there is another pig and that's basically it. Uh, close to his uh, starting position he is on the east coast of the starting continent. They have both access to this continent in the west. Uh, Napoleon's starting position is down south where he is next to a pig and another pig as well. <laughs> Very few resources right here, but they have two pigs each and that's going to be interesting. So let's get the game rolling, shall we? Here we are, Darius the first versus Napoleon and we are Beginning to see the first tech paths. They have one city each. Napoleon is really unhappy with Darius already. Two cities each. Turn 60. And we see Darius with Buddhism. Napoleon doesn't have a religion yet. But there he goes. It is Hinduism. And he, uh, Napoleon is up to four cities before Darius. Four cities to three. Uh, 100 turns and we see that they are almost close to the borders. France has taken a city on the left and it was about 5, 4 or 6, 4 in city count on uh, one ID, I don't know. Napoleon has expanded into the western continent. Darius has not done that yet. But Napoleon is up to 8 cities now and Darius is still only on 4. Darius is weaker than Napoleon as well. There Darius is up in the north of that western continent, but 5 cities versus Napoleon's 10, this does not look good for Darius, it's down to 0.8 strength of the French leader as well. We are at turn 173, 1158 there, 12 cities to 7. Napoleon that is annoyed with Darius and that has 12 cities versus 7. This can only go one way I presume and that is a war declaration soon. Now Darius is down to 0.6 and there it is. Napoleon has attacked. I'm sure it was Napoleon that attacked because he's a lot stronger. Darius with 8 cities, Napoleon on 13. We are, have passed turn 200 now. 13, 14 to 7. Darius is down to 7 cities. Darien has lost and there is a peace treaty. Wow! Napoleon signed peace with 14 cities to 7. I doubt that this is going to last for very long, but at least a small few a few turns for Darius to prepare. And there he comes again. Napoleon attacking. Let's see. Take a look. We are turn 2 to 5 right now. 15 to 6. Darius is down to 6 cities. And Napoleon looks like he's going to win this game at the moment. Now Darius with 0.5 the strength of Napoleon. Napoleon with 16 cities to Darius is 5. And Napoleon, he is higher up the table, he is mid-table, while Darius is close to the bottom and it does not look like Darius is going to get any more points in this round. He's down to five cities, while well, uh, they do sign peace though. There is a peace treaty, but Darius is down to five cities and with an annoyed Napoleon on 16 cities, we are at turn 250. There we are, and I think that Napoleon should not sign all of these peace treaties now. If he intends to win this by conquest, he gets gunpowder going for chemistry next. And Darius is on education. It is probably not going to last very long, but I, we have peace uh, at the moment. 
which is a little bit surprising to me. Napoleon is going, ah, there it is, the war declaration. Yes, <laughs> I was surprised that he didn't declare it immediately after the peace treaty was over, but here we go. There he is down to four cities. Napoleon on 18, we are at turn 270. Napoleon is going to show us how it is done, I presume Darius is going to get an education in military tactics and military brave braveness for Napoleon here. 18 cities, 2-4, Napoleon just got astronomy as well. I hope that that doesn't lead him to stop taking cities and go expand instead. That would be a little bit, well, un- Napoleonistic, I think. 18 cities now. He is really furious towards Darius, by the way. He is, has a red uh, red face <laughs> in the leader list. 19 cities to 4. He has expanded on the continent to the east, but we see the city is uh, almost at the international uh, date border. Date border. He is down uh, at the west. All the way to the west and then he has expanded also into the east that little island there 20 cities now for napoleon and it looks like darius is keeping his four cities for now going towards liberalism while napoleon is going toward corporations and it looks like we while we still are at war oh there he lost one he's down to three darius is down to three cities napoleon 21 to three darius is down to point two the strength of Napoleon as well, which means that Napoleon is five times as strong as the Persian leader. 22 cities to three, and Darius is getting optics in, what, 13 turns or something? No, five turns now. Up 16, 15 now suddenly. Two cities left for Darius now. Now it is coming. Darius is down to two cities, Napoleon on 23, and we are at turn 327. So it's not going to be a very late conquest. One city left for Darius. One city, and when that falls, this game is going to be over, and that's going to be the conquest for Napoleon. One city left for Darius now, turn 3-3-3, three, three, three. when will it be, when will that happen, come on Napoleon, you can do it, I trust you can do it, so that we don't have to wait too long and there is Darius dead, congratulations to Napoleon with the conquest, I'm going to pick none because we are going to see the end of the game, that's a conquest victory for Napoleon, turn 338, 1918 AD, congratulations to the French Emperor. <laughs>
And that was the graphs. Let's go demographics. We see Darius the first numbers here, and then we see Napoleon here. He has 10.9, almost 11 million in population. Uh, decent values for gold and manufacturing and crop yield. Not exactly the best, but not bad either. Top six cities and wonders. We see not so many wonders. Two of them in the BC era, Stone Age and the Great Lighthouse. And we see Napoleon, of course, controls all the top six cities because he won a conquest victory. So let's go quickly to the statistics then and see Darius. Eight cities built, six religions founded, no improvements and nothing, of course. Let's go. He built seven granaries, six barracks, lighthouses and theaters. And go down to one. He did build an academy, so he did get a great scientist for that. He built a great wall, a great lighthouse is here. Page down. And he did manage to build the oracle as well. Uh, he has current units let's see one settler and then he built uh, or trained a total of 31 longbowmen 25 archers 19 pikemen down to one great spy did he train more yes one spy and all the way down to he, here is the great merchant and then he killed let's see he killed something in the wars 14 knights 13 tributaries 9 Catapults down to a trireme, his losses, 45 longbowmen, 19 macemen and pikemen, 16 catapults, down to one archer. So let's go quickly to Napoleon's 17 cities built, one religion founded, one golden age, currently 36 mines, 30 workshops, 28 towns. And he built in his cities 20 lighthouses, 19 granaries and barracks, and we see down here, uh, Statue of Zeus is here, Stonehenge, page down. And you can read the list of assisting chapel at the bottom here. Colossus is here as well, Muslim and Mesolos is a good one. Colossus, great library, yeah, a lot of good stuff. His current military units and civilian units as well. 50 longbowmen, 39 grenadiers, 30 musketeers, 25 civilians, workers, and uh, lots of stuff down to one. Caravel. Total, he trained 35 archers, 35 workboats, 32 longbowmen, 7 Jewish missionaries at the bottom there, page down, and we see at the bottom one great spy. The kills then, let's confirm them, 45 longbowmen, 19 macemen and pikemen down to one archer at the bottom, and the losses were 14 knights, 13 trebuchets, 9 catapults all the way down to one trireme. Let's go then take a look at the cities and the victory condition screen. Here we see Napoleon with 100% of the population and 57% of the land area, which is not enough for domination, but he did win conquest. We know that because we saw it. And now the, uh, you can uh, look away from the points, uh, the score for Darius here, because he has zero in score and lost his last city. Now, when it comes to culture, well, he was very far away from that. No Apollo program, no United Nations, no Apostolic Palace, no nothing. So that's all right. Let's go exit and take a look at the cities. However, Darius the first doesn't have any cities. So what we are going to have to do, we are going to have to switch over to Napoleon immediately to do that. And then, of course, Darius uses his settlers to settle a city, but that uh, we look away from that because the game is already over. It is past the deadline, so it doesn't count. We go to the French cities and we sort them by population and we make sure, yes, we have all of them on the list here. Rhymes, we see they are in Dren general unhappy in the biggest cities here in the French Empire. They are healthy though, so that's good. And we see the base uh, food. It's well, some of them have in the 20s and Avignon has 31. So there are some good stuffs going on. Base commerce. Uh, you can notice that he's in anarchy here, so that is going to influence all the numbers here, of course. But the base numbers, they should be correct anyhow. 
So 31 in Paris then, and 20 and 21, 23 in Orleans. We see the base production relatively okay, and then some buildings and stuff. Spoiler alert! Results and updated league tables follows after this screen. We see from the updated league tables that Darius the first is 15th still with his two points and now negative 16 score turn difference. Napoleon is number four, seven points and positive two score turn difference. Next up is the game between Lincoln and Tokugawa that comes a little bit later today in just a few minutes. So. Uh, Look out for that one. This has been the Noble Leaders League. I am shot like. I hope to see you back for the second game of the day. Goodbye for now.